Yet as soon as the Earl's attacking column came within a hundred paces, the crossbow bolts began to spit from the walls. There was a breach close to the gate. It had been made by a catapult, the only siege machine left in decent repair, and it was a poor breach, for only the top third of the wall had been dismantled by the big stones, and the townsfolk had crammed timber and bundles of cloth into the gap. But it was still a weakness in the wall, and the ladder men ran towards it, shouting as the crossbow bolts whipped into them. Men stumbled, fell, crawled, and died, but enough lived to throw two ladders against the breach, and the first men-at-arms began to climb. The archers were loosing as fast as they could, overwhelming the top of the breach with arrows, but then a shield appeared there, a shield that was immediately stuck by a score of shafts, and from behind the shield a crossbow man shot straight down one of the ladders, killing the leading man. Another shield appeared, another crossbow was loosed. A pot was shoved onto the breach's top, then toppled over, and a gush of steaming liquid spilled down to make a man scream in agony. Defenders were hurling boulders over the breach, and their crossbows were snapping. Closer! Skeet shouted, and his archers pushed through the hedge and ran to within a hundred paces of the town ditch, where they again loosed their long war bows and slashed their arrows into the embrasures. Some defenders were dying now, for they had to show themselves to shoot their crossbows down into the crowd of men who jostled at the foot of the four ladders that had been laid against the breach or walls. Men-at-arms climbed, a forked pole shoved one ladder back, and Thomas twitched his left hand to change his aim and released his fingers to drive an arrow into the breast of a man pushing on the pole. The man had been covered by a shield held by a companion, but the shield shifted for an instant and Thomas's arrow was the first through the small gap though two more followed before the dying man's last heartbeat ended. Other men succeeded in toppling the ladder. St. George! the English shouted, but the saint must have been sleeping, for he gave the attackers no help. More stones were hurled from the ramparts, then a great mass of flaming straw was heaved into the crowded attackers. A man succeeded in reaching the top of the breach, but was immediately killed by an axe that split his helmet and skull in two. He slumped on the rungs, blocking the ascent, and the Earl tried to haul him free, but was struck on the head by one of the boulders and collapsed at the ladder's foot. Two of his men-at-arms carried the stunned Earl back to the camp, and his departure took the spirit from the attackers. They no longer shouted. The arrows still flew, and men still tried to climb the wall, but the defenders sensed they had repelled this sixth attack, and their crossbow bolts spat relentlessly. It was then Thomas saw the blackbird on the tower above the gate. He laid the steel arrow tip on her breast, raised the bow a fraction, and then jerked his bow hand so that the arrow flew wild. Too pretty to kill, he told himself, and knew he was a fool for thinking it. She shot her bolt and vanished. A half dozen arrows clattered onto the tower where she had been standing, but Thomas reckoned all six archers had let her shoot before they loosed. Jesus wept, Skeet said. The attack had failed, and the men-at-arms were running from the crossbow bolts. One ladder still rested against the breach, with the dead man entangled in its upper rungs. Back, Skeet shouted, back! The archers ran, pursued by quarrels, until they could push through the hedge and drop into the ditch. The defenders were cheering, and two men bared their backsides on the gate tower and briefly shoved their asses towards the defeated English. Bastards, Skeet said. Bastards! He was not used to failure. There has to be a bloody way in, he growled. Thomas unlooped the string from his bow and placed it under his helmet. I told you how to get in, he told Skeet. Told you at dawn. Skeet looked at Thomas for a long time. We tried it, lad.